Team Powerhouse. Bzz. Hey everybody, welcome to the Powercast live <laughs> with you guys every Tuesday night. We are a couple minutes behind, but we're ready for you in a very excited show, a very exciting show with of course the man Nick Grossman, Hello. the modern wizard, yep. also the witch doctor. Let's get going, my friend. Absolutely. All right, sure. so we have some events coming up with mm -hmm. you and your your extraordinary uh, life events happening. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some what's coming up in the show for the upcoming couple months. Sure, the Shaman and the Showman, which is uh, my partner Charles Rosen and myself. We have a number of great paranormal events. Each of them is very unique. Uh, we have one coming up actually in Torrington, which is Litchfield County. Okay. We're calling Terror in Torrington. Mm. And it starts off as a psychic festival or a psychic fair at a brewery called Bad Dog Brewing Co. That's pretty cool. And um, later on that evening, we're going to take a private uh, you know, party or, or so to an actual exorcist household. Wow. That's haunted. We're, we're living in a very haunted state. Mm. It, it possibly is one of the I think it's getting, most... more, it's getting more haunted by the month. Yes. Things are getting crazy around here. Absolutely. So we have the Paracon. Did we talk about Paracon yet? Not quite yet. Oh, not yet. I'll Sorry. Let's yeah. go. Let's go to Paracon. Sure. Paracon is in in in, in the Ansonia Armory. Yep. And it's May thirteenth and fourteenth, and you could get your tickets at paracon.org. So that's P A R A C O N N dot org, and it's basically this great massive paranormal convention. And another psych, it has a great psychic aspect of it, of tarot readers, mind readers, crystal people, and horror. Uh, what is the most dangerous paranormal activity you have ever been through? Okay, so basically there's actually this place called Letchworth Village in Westchester, New York. Okay. And it's actually, you know, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Willowbrook. No. It was an insane sign where Geraldo uh, Rivera, the reporter, yep. actually wore like a hidden camera and he walked, he pretended he was... Uh, being a staff member uh, on his first day, and he recorded all the, the crazy stuff that was going on. In the around the ground, no kidding. So we were walking in there, and I was exploring it for quite some time uh, with uh, my old uh, member of the team and another member named Anthony DePetro, um, who's a woodsman. And we've been exploring that, and what was happening was I kept getting this picture of this woman floating, this this like 18 year old maybe, or something 21 year old floating in a white gown. I kept getting a picture. I started getting very obsessed for some reason with this apparition I kept getting. No so kidding. like one night um, I had a dream when I was in Norwalk that I was meditating in the mortician's laboratory of the asylum. And I was getting you know the song Jolene, Jolene, Jolene yes, Jolene. and that's when I figured Love she's telling. When I woke up, she's telling me her name is Jolene. No, kidding. I just knew it. That's a great. And so I went back in there and I tried to get Jolene to come out. Nothing happened. That night, I wake up at about two, three a.m. and I see Jolene hovering over my body, face to face. This is crazy. Face to face, and I wake up and of course I got startled by this. And look, it's nothing new for me to wake up to spirits, but like hovering over the face is just waking up like that startled me so I, like i got so i was like get out get out now and she was she looked very sad and she literally went like this and back into the closet wow. so i turned on the light and i'm kind of laughing i was like okay this is a little more than i'm used to but this is not uncommon i went upstairs i got a glass of water came back downstairs shut off the light all of a sudden in the cracks of the door it's illuminating like this neon blue light and i opened the door i said get the hell out now nothing was there so that was probably one of my, it was a pretty frightening moment. I mean, even for like clairvoyant as myself, like I see all sorts of stuff appearing. <laughs> Matter of fact, speaking of Jonathan, I was, yeah, before, we need before to talk. the show. We need to talk. Yeah, yeah. before the show, uh, he was setting up these lights here. And I said, you know, I have one of these lights that I use for my filming and stuff like that. And I said, the interesting thing was after I was filming, I unscrewed the light bulb and put it back. When I went to my house, I touched the light bulb and it flashed. As soon as I said that, that thing flashed right there. No kidding. Yeah, they just did it again. Cameras weren't rolling, obviously, but it did it again. Light just flashed. Very slightly. Yeah. These are brand new light bulbs. We didn't really flash. Actually, anything. last time we were having troubleshooting with the videos. Yeah, there was so audio. This issues. is something that happens. Like, you know, I'm not sure why. We have videos to share with you guys. We do some videos to share. An apparition. 
notice the white discoloration walking into the abyss. A closer look, again, the white discoloration of the corner. There's the legs, there's the knees, and there's the body in motion. All you guys watching live over here, we love having you. This is a very exciting guy in front of us over here. Thank you. There's so many things we can talk about. I think about. this is an excellent company here. Uh, I highly recommend it. They're they're very positive and very good vibes. And you know, this place is like spotless. Like I've never seen anything <laughs> like it.